The Smith & Wesson Equalizer brings together concepts from the Shield Plus and the EZ series, both from Smith & Wesson, and I like both of those. So will this be more betterness? Let's shoot it and find out. Is it any good? The Mag Shack has the mags you need at a solid price all the time. From Smith & Wesson to Sig to Glock to Taurus, from ARs to AKs, they've got it. If you don't believe me, go check the link in the video description to head over to themagshack.com and check out the massive selection they have. The Equalizer is an internal hammer-fired 9mm pistol that has a barrel just shy of 3.7 inches long and comes with three magazines, one 10-rounder, one 13, and one 15-round mag. It's actually the same magazines that the M&P Shield Plus uses. The 15-rounder is new for this gun, but does in fact work in the Shield Plus. The slide has some aggressive serrations and an optic cut. Smith & Wesson doesn't say the pattern, but it appears to be an RMR pattern. The gun also has a grip safety, which some folks absolutely hate. All right, first shots with the equalizer. It's kind of a short grip. The texture is really nice, but it is a little bit of a short grip. So we're gonna use the Extendo, the big boy 15 round magazine. We tried to put an optic on here, but uh, apparently Swamp Fox uses metric threads and this is imperial threads. And I don't know, maybe a Crimson Trace will fit on there. I don't have one with me. So here we go without an optic. Let's give it a shot. That feels very strange. I, I am not hitting very well with this at all, and the trigger feels very weird. The M&P Shield Plus, which we have over here, actually uses the ex exact same magazines, and I would hope that this gun that is like kind of done up would have a slightly nicer trigger than this. Josh, you gotta try it. All right, so first mag on the uh, Smith & Wesson Equalizer. Let's see. Ooh. Dude, that trigger is horrible. That brass is really erratic. Yeah. You weren't kidding. I mean, it's running, but that's it, it runs. But that's that's not my flavor for sure. That the the trigger is just uh, it, it feels like it's all over the place, and the grip angle is a little weird for me. You can feel it in the grip safety more than the trigger, which was the same with some of the other guns. Unimpressed. All right, here we go. I'm going to actually try and put some rounds on. It's actually like bordering on painful to shoot. Like, it's like, I don't know why, but it feels like it's beating the out of my trigger finger. Is that? Like, something doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like, it almost feels like the gun's locking open with the recoil impulse. Like, it just doesn't feel correct. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. So one of the interesting things that we're noticing here is not it just doesn't quite feel right for some reason i'm i'm definitely noticing the kind of lack of a chamfer here on the uh, passenger side of the trigger guard like that is like rubbing my finger in a really uncomfortable way and i don't feel like i could be accurate with this gun like i would say uh, so put You know what, I just realized something. So I'm trying to shoot this with my fingertip on the trigger and I just wrapped further around and I felt like I was more in control of the gun. I think the grip is too small. I think that's what's happening. I too think narrow. It's so slim, but then again, the Shield Plus uses the same magazines and is the same size and I could shoot that gun pretty good. This gun was one of the more challenging for me to review. 
It's not what I would call a bad gun, but there were things that started to lean towards us not liking the gun, so we had to dig deeper and compare it to the Shield Plus. Okay, so we've got the nine Shield Plus and the nine Equalizer here on the table. And Josh and I are trying to figure out why we like this gun, the Shield Plus, a lot more than the Equalizer. And one of the going theories is that the grip angle here on the Equalizer is a lot more vertical almost. I don't know, it feels, it's definitely like a longer grip in the, uh, the, the rear here, like the beaver tail area. So if we plop this on top, come over the top. So we definitely have a different shape and the grip safety is definitely taking up a, a lot in the rear there. I mean, it's not horrendously different, but it definitely feels a lot different. Feel-wise, this feels a lot like more contoured, like you have more in here. You're getting closer to the gun, maybe. I think we have, so it has more of a setback in the top of your grip, so that angle out. It's, it's not a huge difference, but that little bit right here, I think is what we're feeling, like why we like the Shield Plus. Let's that put much a couple better. rounds through this and then immediately a couple rounds through the other gun. Let's try that. Yeah, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield Plus and nine. Really seemed like you were able to connect. Yeah. And this is now the equalizer. So I did what you said about with Get, getting more uh, in the trigger there. So yeah. I had my finger like that on the trigger and was able to connect those last three shots. I don't know. I, That's I don't know. so interesting that you like you That's, almost like in my opinion, you have more of your hand around the gun at that point. And that points to the grip geometry being significantly yeah. Well, not sig I mean, I wouldn't call it significant, but I would call it substantial enough to warrant using this gun differently. There's that much of a tactile feel difference from that from the the Shield Plus to this that yeah, it's like coming or, that doesn't make sense to me, but I guess because you're keeping your fingers straight here, hmm. it's I, I don't know. All right, I got to try it. All right, here we go with the equalizer i mean reliability wise it's running just fine all right i'm going to try it with my finger on my, the tip of my finger on the trigger okay yeah, i just like i'm hitting okay but i'm not being accurate all right <laughs> let's just drop that <laughs> on the ground it already feels more contoured <laughs> Like immediately just feels more contour and more correct. Connected much better. Yeah, the, the thing is that grip safety and that more sort of vertical shape, like the rear end of the Shield Plus has this like gentle curvature in the beaver tail area, whereas the Shield Plus is more vertical and just that slight difference in geometry plus the way worse trigger on that hammer fire gun. Like, I don't see why anybody would buy that. Let's break this into positives and negatives. I'll start with the good stuff. The gun did not malfunction once during our testing. I also really like that they've included three magazines. Having a nice 15 round mag makes this thing more viable for defensive scenarios, in my opinion. I really like the grip texture and the slide serrations as well. Those are super useful and well thought out. The list of negatives is a bit longer. The trigger has a strange feel to it. I felt the reset more in the grip safety than the trigger itself. And speaking of the grip safety, it ends up sticking out too far when compressed so that you have a weird grip angle and we found that to be uncomfortable and more difficult to shoot well when compared to the Shield Plus. Both myself and Josh had a much better experience on that Shield Plus. I also find it super annoying that Smith & Wesson doesn't say what the optic cut is on this gun. That should be easily accessible info. Stop trying to hide it because it's some other brand's name. And I also don't know whose fault it is, but not having some kind of industry standard thread pitch for optic screws is dumb. Optic companies and pistol companies are to blame on that one. Okay, so we've got the two guns here and we're discussing 
you know, what's going on here price-wise. So I'm looking at the features, right? I'm going, okay, this is a $600 gun, $599 MSRP with an optic cut and a front night sight. This gun is $550. So it's $50 bucks less to get this gun with comparable features. The only thing that is different is that this gun does not come with the accessory rail. And this gun is striker versus hammer fired. Otherwise, the magazines are interchangeable. This one came with three mags, a 10, a 13, and a 15 round mag. And it came with this thing, the Uplula loader. Now, I don't know why, I guess that's where the extra 50 bucks comes from. This does not have night sights and it's hammer fired and it has arguably a worse shooting experience than this one. I mean, we're going to put some more rounds through. I think we should try the 15 rounder in the Shield Plus just to see what that feels like, Absolutely. if it's significantly better. But I'm really struggling with why this exists. <laughs> I really am. Like, all they had to do was offer this magazine with this gun and go, look, you get a 13 and a 15 or something like that. Because the flush mags are dumb. I think they're, they're like, I don't know who has child hands out there like these these uh, you know what here can you uh let's see if i can do this one-handed so there's the shield plus I'll, like maybe get a pinky on there and it's about the same here right it's about the same thanks josh you're a lifesaver okay so yeah about the same like literally it's the same geometry why 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 smith and wesson you could have done so much more. The I love, look cooler. I That's love these is. slide serrations. I so do. I, I, actually, I do too. They're... I really think they're useful. I think this gun with these slide serrations would be awesome, even with the little wings here. But like, why is this a separate product? Why is it hammer fire? Why does it have a bad trigger? Why is this here? Is that, is... This is a good gun. Why is this here? Smith and Wesson, is this your your answer to the macro? Because it's the wrong answer. <laughs> It's not an answer to the macro. That's an answer to that. Yeah. Like, why not make that more better? All right, we're going to try the 15-round Extendo Clip 5000. I do wish this gun had... I, I wish I had an optic-ready version of this. So this is the Shield Plus. It's a better trigger better grip geometry you put this full-size magazine in there and suddenly you have a i don't know you get all the benefits of having a longer magazine like what do you expect i just i was expecting more all right extendo clip 5000 in the shield plus let's see if i can connect a little bit better. I'll go over to the dueling tree. I hit that bottom point. It hit, yeah. It hit, it hit. There's a mark on it. Now we're going to try some steel case in the equalizer just to mix things up. I do think the 13 round mag is makes this grip length totally usable. Let's try with some steel case, see how she runs. My biggest challenge is that I don't understand why this gun even exists. It doesn't provide anything better than the Shield Plus, even though they share magazines. Okay, so first observation, it ran the steel case just fine, and I was able to be reasonably accurate with it. You know, Josh and I are not uh, amazingly accurate, unless you give us a $3,000 Wilson Combat. <laughs> Go watch that review. You know, the more I shoot it, the less I hate it. I will say that, the more I shoot it, the less I hate it. But it's still not as good as the Shield Plus. And the only thing I keep asking myself is why does this exist? It's much like the CSX. I don't know if you guys, those of you that watched that CSX review, I said I don't understand it because it was essentially in the line like a hammer-fired metal shield, but it was bad in so many different ways. It was just bad, and all they had to do was take this and make it metal. 
the frame. Obviously, the slide is metal. But they didn't do that. And all they had to do was <coughs> take this and make it a higher capacity gun like this. I don't understand why this had to go to be a hammer fired gun. And maybe there is something in the world of Smith and Wesson where this makes sense, but it isn't my world. Just want to give a quick shout out to True Shot Gun Club. Do you like True Shot Gun Club? I love True Shot Gun Club. You know why we like True Shot Gun Club? Because they make sure that we have affordable ammunition, a wide variety of stuff. We've got some of the SAR stuff. We've got some seller and Bellet. And they make sure that we have ammunition for all of our reviews. And we genuinely appreciate them. Be sure you go check them out, trueshotgunclub.com. We then discovered that the mag release was giving us issues letting the mags drop free. All right, this is the 13 round mag. Oh, look at that, my range helper. So there's the 10 rounder. Barely. We were just talking about off camera, uh, difference from the MMP shield to the equalizer is the mag release. So if you look here past my purple knuckles, I can activate the so mag So we're looking release. in here at the other side of the mag release. So I, I can push without moving my grip and feel the mag release go the whole way over. Okay. Right? <clears throat> On this, my hand's covering it, more, that finger. My the geometry middle, is just slightly different. The shield is uh, a lot more contoured. And without changing my grip, you don't feel like you're getting I, a full I'm push. Not, I'm not getting it. Well, here, Josh. All right, so back to this, uh, we got. So keep, here's how you do it. You keep your hand on the grip, yep. try and eject the magazine as you normally would. Okay, so that went out. Without, I mean, my- Now swap the gun and see if the same thing happens. Maybe we're full of it, It. I have to move my grip, so. Trying to keep my pinky off air. So you're you're giving that an actual push, and the mag is not coming out. Like one one more time with that one. Again, shield plus. They take the same magazines. That came right out. Okay. And equalizer. Not dropping out. All right, my turn. I got to try this and see if it's the same for me. Okay, here goes the equalizer. So I would be pew pew. Oh, look, it, it releases. Oh, you got it. See, it barely popped for me. So, bang, bang. It's it's hitting my hand. Let me see if I can clear my hand. Okay. So, it did come out, but I did slightly adjust my grip. Like, I came off. I released pressure. But I can feel it, like, So, let's try this. Shield plus. And so, pew, pew. Same issue with these shorter mags. That's probably an issue of the shorter mags, but yeah, I'm, I'm relieving pressure on the forward part of my fingers and it's coming right out. Man, these short mags are just, yeah. blech. why? They're just How about little, some human sized magazines. They're just little guys. Just a little guy. I, like, I feel bad for people in 10 round states. All right, so pew, pew, pew. Oh yeah, like I'm reaching up there. So I, the only way that that comes out, like I can't do it when my hand is like forward on the gun. Like I'm pushing as hard as I can and it's not coming out. Like <laughs> it's not, like I'm not. Oh, hold, hold on guys, got a problem. All right, now by comparison, because that's fair. So same issue, relieve. It is coming out, whereas the other one would not, because I can't get a full push. So I just realized why they include this. I just realized why, because it is nearly impossible to load the 15 rounder without it. Okay, check this out. So this is a full 15 round mag. That did not want to go in there. You really got to give it something. You ready? Yep. I'm going to try my technique of wrapping my trigger finger.
Dude, I really just feel like I cannot be as accurate with this gun as I want to be. The shield. I, I, I don't know why. I can't figure it out. It's just nothing seems to line up for me. Maybe I'm the idiot. Maybe. Don't answer that. I probably am. Uh, but I just... Bleh, just bleh, bleh. So I'm trying to, you know, try and wrap my brain around why this exists more. Like, I'm trying to understand this, right? So I thought to myself, well, maybe you just want a hammer-fired gun. But at the same token, why would you want an internal hammer-fired gun where you couldn't cock it? You couldn't have that external safety to, you know, 1911-style cocked and locked carry. What is going on here? I mean, there's no external safety on this one. I don't remember if they make it with one. I'll note that on screen, but I just can't figure out why. <laughs> I just, I, you know, I, I feel bad because this isn't like, you know, after putting a, a few hundred rounds through it, it's not terrible as a gun. It's just not as good as something else they already make that fills the exact same role. Legitimate child in the Shield Plus and the Equalizer, you're adopted. You're just, you're adopted. Go over in your hole. <laughs> uh, also, Josh wanted me to point this out because both of us are Ashy Larry today. Uh, you can see that the grip texture here is actually doing something. Like you can see. see can get in on it a little bit. You can see our skin all up in there. <laughs> Getting closer. Skin particulate. <laughs>